I shall want my kim, giving all praises, honors, and glories to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakach Quarash, the Balanish to the Apostles of Great Millstone, uh, salutations to the Akimah across the globe that are doing this work in truth and in sincerity and in charity. And uh, basically, you know, I was just on the web and I came across this one article, you know, and uh, basically, um, you know, this is an article going into the. Uh, uh, the you know the the mark of the beast system, all right the RFID chip, all right and whoever takes this chip will be destroyed, man. You know let's say it's the Bible, man. And um, you know Esau, you know Edom, he, he's pushing uh, this RFID chip, this uh, uh, microchip vibration, man. You know hard, man. You know now Amazon, uh, you know uh, Whole Foods is about to uh, uh, have a, a, a you know a new pay payment system. Let me just read the title. Amazon wants to scan your hand for making uh, payments at Whole Foods, all right? And, um, hey, that's just uh, programming the people's mind just to get, just to take the chip, man, to get used to the RFID chip technology, man. So when the day comes, man, they'll, they'll take it uh, without a second thought, man, you know, will willingly take it, man, you know? And, um, you know, I'm just going to get into the articles, it's not too long. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read the uh, the first paragraph. If you got anything, go ahead. Because I was gonna say, um, basically what they're doing is they're they're setting this up. Why? They're setting it up so they can desensitize the the masses of the people. When I got the definition of desensitize, it says free someone from a phobia or neurosis by gradually exposing the person to the thing that is feared. Because when that time comes, when that chip is presented, a lot of people are gonna fear. All right, they're gonna fear of not having food. They're gonna fear of not being on the grid, not being able to uh, access uh, benefits and all mm -hmm. these things. So they're gonna take that chip. So what are they doing? They're desensitizing you. All right, so they're preparing the people to just take the chip, which mm -hmm. a lot of the masses of the people in this in, in Babylon, Great America, are gonna take, and that's what they're setting up for. Uh, you see? And um, you know, you ask the average is like the average person out there, man. They know that the mark of the beast, the RFID, which is the RFID chip. Today, uh, that's the, that's the mark of the beast, man. That the Bible speaks of, man. You know, and uh, you ask the average person out there, oh, I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna take that. You know, but if you don't have your how about Shemi Al Shai with you, you know, if you don't have that faith, man, hey, you're gonna take that chip, man. You know, if you don't have the spirit of your how about Shemi Al Shai, you're gonna take that chip, man. Once you start catching hell and tribulation. Starts uh, going two, three days without eating. Then your little kids, Daddy, I'm hungry. And, you're, and your, wife, your, your wife is going to start taking You're going to take it, man, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. You people that, 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 that are not in the truth, man. That are not serving you. How about you, Masha? You're going to take it, man. And hey, the most is going to destroy you, man. But uh, without further ado, let me just get into the article real quick. It appears like Amazon is putting in some serious efforts to avoid... Um, the use of any sorts of physical card or NFC based smartphone payments at it, at its of offline stores according to a report of from the New York Post the e-commerce uh, giant is internally testing a payment system code named Oroville that will allow people to perform payments just by using their hands without physical touch of course all right so hey, this is is preparing the the minds of people just to take that chip, man. Yeah, cause uh, I was watching uh, I was reading a video just a couple minutes ago. Well, not reading a video. How can I read a video? <laughs> but I was watching a video. <laughs> I was watching a video, and it went into the fact that uh, the things they're gonna use to scan your hand is is, is gonna, they're gonna have like uh, sensors all over the store, and when you go to the checkout. So what the sensor is going to do is going to uh, examine your hand for the depth, the measure of your hand, the size, the circumference, and it's going to uh, like zoom into your prints on your fingers. Mm -hmm. So that's how, it's, that's how they're setting up this system. Mm -hmm. And that's how they're desensitizing you because what's going to be next? People are going to be like, oh, I don't want to do this. So what are they going to offer you next? They're going to offer you just a microchip. And that's going to be that incision into your flesh. Okay. okay? That's what's coming. That's what's being... Uh, that's what's being initiated slowly but surely because the word the Lord doesn't lie man the mm -hmm. scriptures are true God you know uh, I'm gonna read on in the in, the, in, the, in the article you must be wondering how this would work behind the scenes will let uh, will let me break it down as the user ha hands 
get scanned. The customer details get fished from his or hers Amazon Prime account that is linked with a credit or debit card. Techniques like computer vision and depth geometry are implemented to accurately identify the shape and size of each hand before confirming the payment. All right, it's accurate to within one ten thousandths of one uh, percent, but Amazon engineers are scrambling to improve it to one millionth of one percent ahead of its launch, according to the stores of New York Post. Uh, upon successful successful implementation, this new payment system could make the time for checkout less than. 300 milliseconds, which is noticeable improvement over the current time taken for uh, completing transactions. So uh, that's how uh, Esau is going to get the minds of a lot of people, man. Uh, he's, you're just going to go inside the store and you're going to walk right out like nothing. Yeah. You know, uh, like how the scripture says in songs, uh, his uh, his uh, his words are smoother than butter, uh, softer than oil. Than oil. Or if it's paraphrasing, but a war is in his heart, man, you know. Uh, Hey, uh, Esau wants to uh, uh, control you, man, with that shit, man. You know, he wants to see uh, everything that you're doing, you know, what you're buying. All right? He, he wants to moder uh, moderate you, man. Yeah, he, mm. he's doing that because you just read. He's doing that because he's going to play on the people's uh, emotions towards convenience. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't want to be in line all day. I don't want. I just want to get in and out. So the the, the the Lord makes this devil play on your your uh, your the convenience on your emotions, mm -hmm. and that's why, like we said, a lot of people are going to uh, take this chip, and it's scriptural, mm -hmm. because the Most High, you, we can see it coming to pass, but the people don't see it, but they're gonna see it in that last second when they're presented with that microchip, and they're gonna be <laughs> they're gonna remember that these words who were speaking to them, all right, they're gonna remember that, they, that they're gonna understand that they're coming to pass. This is Isaiah fifty five. And 11, it says, so shall my word be that goeth forth. Actually, I'm going to start at 10. It says, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So if you go into Revelations, it tells you that we're going to be presented all right, with this microchip, this incision in the threat, the incision in the flesh, and we see that being implemented in small levels, starting with this, uh, what is this, the, the hand scanning at Whole Foods, mm -hmm. and that's that's ultimately going to be spread to other companies, oh. and there's already people with the with the microchip in them walking around, man. Yep. So this whole beast system is there, they're they're activating it because why? They see the time is, is getting short, so they're they're trying to they're trying to uh, establish complete domination over all these people when. <laughs> The most high rules in the kingdom, man. They're trying to play the most high. You see? You got some? Yeah, something, bro. It's Daniel chapter 8, verse 25. It says, and through his policy also, he shall cause his craft to, pop, to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. And he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. All right? You know? Because uh, what is Esau's policy? Is the New World Order, man. His crowning on the New World Order is going to be that, that RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. That's really going to be him ascending as the most high. You, uh, you know, it's, it, hey, you know, we just, hey, one thing we can really say is that that's a, that's a, that's a form of mind control. It's going to be a form of uh, him saying that he is God, that you're a part of him, and that uh, you, he, he owns everybody on the face of the earth, which the Lord is already against, because uh, it says that Israel is the Lord's portion, man. You know, but you know it's it's a lot of different diverse movies that goes into different types of chips to where it, it'll show mind control. The point being is, you know, you go into that that mark is showing that you are just a part of being uh, this man. You you have uh, submitted to this man solely entirely, especially for the simple fact it says in the scripture that you're not supposed to take that mark. So you Negroes, Latinos, and, and uh, Native Americans that take that mark. Guess what? The Lord's not going to, he's not going to listen to you, you no, know? And he's not listening to a lot of you two-thirds anyway for the simple fact you, you already have that, that uh, spiritual mark, man. Like those guys down in the Bahamas because they already didn't listen, you know? And if that, it, through the Spirit, if, if that mark came out, guess what? They would take it, you know, because they didn't listen to the prophets. They already have that, re, that, that rebellious spirit. So what they're, they're not going to deal with the Lord, man. So the Lord said to hell with you. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. And that's what the Lord is about to do, man. 
He's about to reject a lot of you niggas, man. Yeah. I got precept for you. This is uh this is first Maccabees chapter one verse forty one. Because Esau's doing the same thing. It's nothing new under the sun with these Edomites. First Maccabees one and forty one it says, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, and they're gonna use this uh mark of the beast so that all can become one people under one uh mm -hmm. uh uh, what is it? Uh, electronic, uh, what is it? Electronic financial banking system, which is going to be through that market of beast. You know, along with other things such as your your birth certificate, your medical records, and they're all going to they're starting to push this out to the to the people. Why? Because they're desensitizing them, like I started the lesson with, so that when this all gets pushed forward, these people are not surprised. So they're doing it little by little. Verse 42, it says, and everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. So the heathen, the other nations, they're going to get this chip. The Elamite, the Moabite, all right, the, the Syrian, all right, the, uh, uh, the Ishmaelite, all those other nations, they're going to get the chip. And then, like the brother said, a lot of our people are going to consent to it as well. It says, verse 43, yeah, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the, the Sabbath. And that's what's going to happen again. A lot of you Israelites, you're going to consent to taking this chip, just like the brother said, being hard-headed, doing what you want to do, not taking heed to this word. And that's prophecy as well, okay? Because what the, the Most High says, word is not going to go back void. And you're reading in history that our, our people have always consented, well, a portion of our people have always consented to following the heathens, man, and doing whatever 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 is necessary, all right, to be in good standing with them. And, and this time, and this present reality is going to be this mark of the beast, and they're going to take it, man. You see? All right. Uh, Kankan, and let me just finish the article real quick. All right. Um, the system is under internal testing right now as... Per the report, the employees at Amazon New York office are currently testing it. The official rollout of the new payment interface to Whole Foods Supermarket is expected to happen early next year. So, by around uh, January 2020, February, March, you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Since people are getting paranoid when facial, facial recognition is used for authentication due to privacy concern, Amazon has acted smartly to use hands as an identif identification perimeter. However, we will have to wait until the official rollout to know the actual perspective of consumers. So what do you think of uh, this new system of payment? Uh, uh, let us know in the comment. You know, and that was it to the art article, man. And, um, you know, hey, man, this is uh, just Esau's uh, 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 you know, Mark of the Beast RFID chip technology, man. All right, and let me just get a quick description. You know, uh, just to prove to you, uh, brothers, man, that the uh, mark of the beast, I mean, the RFID chip is a mark of the beast that the Bible speaks of, man. Because you got a lot of um, false groups and a lot of false pastors out there that say it's not the, it's not the, uh, it's not the RFID chip, it's Christianity or, yeah. you know, but... Because uh, they're false prophets. They can't, they can't see what's being established. Why is that? Because they can't see far off. They don't have that vision to see. Because they're not the real prophets. They can't see that this is ultimately going to culminate into this, this chip down the road. They can't see this because they false prophets, man. But we can see it through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shem Shai, man. Through those, that, that foresight, that, that eyesight that the Lord gave us, man. You see? Con, con. And, um, yeah, this is the book of, uh, this is the book of Revelations 13 and uh, 16. All right. No, I'll start at uh, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So, hey, man, for those people that don't uh, bow down to this beast system, they don't take that chip, man. Hey, Esau is going to put them to death, man, you know. But, hey, the scripture says, be faithful unto death, man, you know, uh, and I shall fight for thee. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, hey, we got to be faithful unto Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. All right, we can't let Esau and 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 his and his tactics scare us, man. You know, all right, hey, we got to pray to the Heavenly Father to get us to give, give give us integrity and the strength to get through those through those times, man. You know, but reading on, and he causes all he causes all all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Okay, and that's plain right there. Old people. Young people, newborns, 
people that are locked up and free people, man. All right, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. All right, and if you go into the word ma mark is in the Hebrew is karagma, which uh, means an imprinted mark. All right, a thing that's carved inside your flesh. Mm -hmm. Incision. An inc inc incision. All right, that's what it is, man. And it explains it right here. And that no man might buy, buy or sell save he that had that mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. So without that mark, man, that off ID chip, you're not going to be able to buy, sell, sell your things, go to the grocery stores or buy things, man. Unless you have that chip, man. All right. And, and that's definitely not talking about Christianity. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, go, go to the grocery store without the, the Christianity doctrine. Not going to be able to buy and sell. You know, you got a lot of, you know, uh, groups out there that sold out to Esau, man. That are not telling you the truth, man. You know, so that doesn't make sense, man. What is that talking about? The chip, man. All right. You got, uh, I think, IUIC is telling you you can take the chip. Ain't nothing wrong with taking the, the chip. But this is the book of Leviticus, chapter uh, uh, 19. Uh, what should I do? 19 and uh, 28, and it reads, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. So, hey, man, that's a, that's a commandment right there, man. You're not supposed to, uh, a, uh, how it says, uh, make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. You're not supposed to cut yourself. And when they put that chip in you, hey, they're cutting you, man. Or print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. So you're not supposed to get, put, put anything inside your body, man. Hey, that, that's a commandment, man. And you got the IUIC. Out there pushing, so-called pushing the law, the law, the law. Hey, you're breaking this law right here, man. You're not supposed to take that chip, man. You're not supposed to get any tattoos or have anything inserted inside of you, man. All right. So that's just a, a quick cut to a, a to IUIC, man. And those groups that tell you that you can't take the chip, man. All right. Um, you got anything out here? Yeah, this is Isaiah chapter 36 um, and 6. It says, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt, wherein if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. And that's the same exact spirit, man. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, there's nothing new under the sun with our people. This is considered another Egypt, all right, which is symbolic and which literally means bondage. All right, which our people are in in this captivity. <laughs> All right, so they're leaning on Egypt again. They're leaning on the, ca the the captors. They're leaning on the nation that has us in captivity. And that nation that has us in captivity, they're going to present this, this mark of the beast to you. And the brother just read in the law how it's, it's against the law to insert anything into you. But you have a lot of our people, according to the scripture, that are going to lean on this place. And they're going to insert that chip into themselves. And they're going to be ashamed of this place when the Lord comes back and destroys every everybody and everything on this continent, man. They're going to be a part of the casualties. All right? It tells you that in Revelations. Let me get it. This is uh, Revelations 14. This is Revelations 14 and 9. It says... Revelations 14 and 8. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen... Is fallen that great city because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, because what do you have also? You have that neural link with Elon Musk. So now he's trying to actually imprint, he's trying to put chips into your brain. That's scriptural as well, man. Hmm. The scriptures line up, man. They're like this, like I read in Isaiah 55, man. The Most High doesn't lie with His word. He already, or He already planned this orchestration of His reality, and we're re we're reading it to you, man. Okay, it says Revelation fourteen and nine again. It says, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark, which is that incision, the karagma, into the flesh, which is the RFID chip, okay, they're already selling it." You can actually buy the uh, the syringes with the RFID chip on eBay now, so you can insert, you can you can uh, mark yourself with the mark of the beast, man. It says and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same, who is the same? Whoever take this chip, including our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
It says, the same, you people that take it, shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb, Yahweh Shai. So you're going to be completely and utterly obliterated, man, if you take this chip. So that's why it's so, it's so uh, pivotal that we have to pray to the Most High to give us a spirit not to take this. All right? All the way up until he comes back. Okay? Because he says he's coming back, so we just got to, we, if we if we, we got to go a couple days or weeks or how long ever it be, the Most High is going to come back in time <laughs> to save you if you don't take this chip. The Most High is not a man that he should lie. He's going to come back and get you. Just don't take that chip is what the scriptures are saying, man. All right? And if that may be unto death, then so be it, man. Okay? Because the Lord said don't take this chip. Basically, if you take this chip, you're saying that Esau is your God, basically. When Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai rules within the kingdom of men, that's our power. Mm -hmm. Okay, the creator of this, of everybody. Of everything, yeah. You see, I'd rather worship him, man. <laughs> Esau is no god, he's just a man. All right, and when Yahweh Shemel comes back, he's going to show the earth and Esau and the heathen nations who the real power is. That's why we're not to take this chip, man. You see, did you have something? Yes, yeah, sir. Go ahead. Lock. No, it's a book of Second Corinthians, chapter 2 and 11. These, uh, Satan should get an advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices all right and ignorant uh means not knowing all right so we're not uh ignorant of satan's uh, uh of esau's uh technology man mm -hmm. all right we're, we're not stupid man we, we know what he's trying to do with this uh with, with the with whole foods with uh with the uh, cashless um uh, with that cashless uh system man you know we, we know that he's just preparing the minds of people just to to be able to take uh, accept that shit man you know, all right, we're not ignorant, man. You know, we got the scriptures right here to tell us, man, you know, what these things are, man. All right. That's right. Because ultimately, why? Because we have the eyes of it. We can see these other, these other, these other teachers and so-called prophets. All right. They don't have that. They don't have the understanding or the vision to understand that this is going to culminate into that chip. You see, that's why Apostle Gabar always says you got to have vision when you read these scriptures, man. Yes. Just because it's not playing out now doesn't mean that this is not what it's com it's not going to com it's this is not what it's culminating into because we can see that this is eventually going to be they're eventually going to present the RFID chip through this. Oh, you guys want more convenience? Just take this chip; it'll make it even more easier. If these people out here, these the masses of the people, you 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 people love the simplicity of this place. You love everything at your convenience. Especially so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So this is why we're trying to tell you: don't take that chip. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. You might go into Whole Foods, and you're gonna be, you're gonna, you're gonna be interested in this bullshit with the scanning your hand. Okay, mm -hmm. better not take that chip and put nothing inside yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the chip, and that's mm -hmm. what we're telling you that they're, 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 they're sensitizing your mind to get prepared for it. Huh. Okay, that's why we're, 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 we continue to push these lessons to. to Basically, tell our people to not put anything inside yourselves when that time comes, man. To uh, wipe the blood off our hands. Man. Exactly. You know, prophesying to them whether they hear it or forbear, man. You know, and ultimately, man, you know, eight elect, which we hope to be, the 144 and the one third of women, men, and children, they are not going to take that shit, man, you know. And, and uh, hey, the two thirds are going to come across our videos, man, and, and they're going to hear about the word, man. Yep. All right, and they're gonna hear that they shouldn't that the RFID chip is a market beast that they shouldn't take it, man. But if they take it, man, that's their ass, man. They've been warned, man. Yep. You know, it's the year of Karagma, man. You know, they this uh you know Apostle the Hard Deem twenty nineteen to be the year of Karagma, Karagma, man. And hey, man, the, the, the this RFID chip technology is out there, man. You know, that's right. whole bunch of people already have it. A lot of people in Sweden have it. I think it's in uh, in China. They, a lot of people in China here in America they have it, man. Yep, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, man. They're, like I said, there's people walking around with the RFI with the mark of the beast in them already, because mm -hmm. they don't give a damn. Those people, a lot of them are Edomites. Okay. And there's some of our people that got it. Like what's that nigga, Kid Boo or whatever the fuck his name was? He's like a rapper. Or something? Yeah, that degenerate. Oh. He got the micro. He got the the RFID micro chip inserted into him on camera, and he's an Israelite. So they're gonna, what are they going to do? They're going to use these niggas to show you and to sensitize you to this chip. All right? To make you, you niggas go get it. You niggas with these dreads, you hoes of our nation, you, the wicked of our nation, the two-thirds of our nation. 
Uh-huh. They're gonna take it, but you you Israelites that understand and you see it in your mind, you like, damn, that dude makes sense. You better not take that chip because that's what's coming, man. Yeah, he's he's not gonna be using these niggas to promote his RFID chip chip technology, man. Yep. You know, he already promotes niggas to rap about money. Yep. And shit, you know, to make money, I got big bitches and yeah. big houses, etc. He's if I have a nigga uh, on a music video, I got a hundred million on my chip. Yeah, right? was, they already did it. It was, it was a video with Fat Joe. For real? Oh, yeah, with Fat Joe, the lean back video, where he went into the, uh, to open the door in the video, I believe. Mm-hmm. He used his hand to open up the door. He put his hand to the uh, to some type of reader, and the door opened up for him. Wow. And that was, that. Shit, that was years ago. Shit, that was like t- almost 10, that was like 10 years ago, 10 plus years ago. I gotta see that video now, shit. Yeah, it's in there. So yeah. they already desensitized, they started desensitizing people back then, and it's in movies, you know? So that's what's, that's what, they're, they're, everything in these movies is gonna become a reality, because that's, everything you see in these movies, that's really what Esau wants to do. And he has, he has a lot of this shit in these movies, you see. Upgrade, how you're gonna take the chip and it's gonna increase your, your, your brain capacity and ability. You know? That's just bullshit, man. Yeah, you sports. Know. You can put it in yourself to see how fast you run. You know, monitor your speed and your strength and your your blood pressure and all this bullshit, man. This man's this man's a mad mm-hmm. scientist and he's gonna use our RFID mm-hmm. chip, which is the mark of the beast, to have everybody come together under this one uh, uh wicked vibration of using his chip, mm-hmm. which is that mark of the beast system. You see? Oh, come, but you got anything else out there? Oh no, that's it. You know, but, you know, hopefully, you know, this was an edifying video for the Hopeful Righteous Elect, man. You know, hey, man, it's the year of Karagma, man. You know, the year of the, uh, the Mark of the Beast, with, uh, which is the RFID chip, man. You know, and for you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you know, you are the real Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible, man. And, hey, man, don't take that chip, man. You know, if not, hey, the most type, if, if not, man, hey, the mo- most type will destroy you, man. You know, point blank, period, man. And for you heathens, ain't no hope, man. Y'all are going to slavery and... Y'all gonna be destroyed too, man. Yep. But with all that, all, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, the Balanus, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, salutations to the elect Akim scattered uh, to the whole globe that are preaching His word in truth and in sincerity and, and in charity. Till next time, Shalom, you know, and Abba Baba, Mawathla Baba Mahar. Abba Baba, Shalom. Abba, Abba.